haven't just held meetings and expected a whole lot of people to come to us. We've actually met with nearly 30 of the community organisations in Biwa. We have held some public meetings. We've taken advantage of events such as the Sustainability Expo. So we're taking advantage of when people in Biwa get together and we're coming out to meet with them and have a chat. This is a major move from the council to come into a community and become part of a community. People are very passionate about this community, without yeah. a doubt, and it's consistent wherever we go. Today we're at the uh, Biwa Marketplace. We're delivering a community engagement have your say event where we've basically been growing people off the street. We've had a lot of people come through. We've asked people what they loved about BOR, write it onto the heart sticky and then put it on the location which mattered to them the most. It's a good way of engaging people in a positive way. I like the small country town feel. Just like the walking footpaths. This question was if BOR is changing we definitely need to preserve and we've got a whole heap of ideas written down. The word BOR is really Booyah, which means eagle. The mountains were very special. They were seen as sacred to us. In its heyday, you'd go to town and all you could smell was pineapples. I think we should keep our history. If there's something you really think should be changed, you'll use these yellow post notes and stick them on. I'd like to see nicer places to hang out. Public home activity from the library to the railway station. Footpaths. Somewhere where people could meet, slow down. Sustainability. Hopefully we have a community who feels as though they've been able to have their input. We collected feedback across the BOR community, collated it into themes and then worked with focus groups to produce a list of actions to achieve the community vision. We actually need to meet again because there is so much information. Terrific interaction, productive and stimulating time. We need to make sure that we've got the priorities, if you like, right as a group. We tested the community actions through a series of internal workshops centred around topics such as traffic, open space and environment and planning issues. We then met with state government representatives of various departments where we tested the options from the community to help us develop a final master plan. I really see the value of this level of consultation. The people involved with the project have really become part of the community. Hopefully they'll be informed by the values of the community. We've got some solid outcomes to go forward with. This Place Plus process has delivered three main outcomes. Firstly, it has delivered two action plans, one to be delivered by the community and one by council. The second outcome was the establishment of a community umbrella group to support the delivery of the community action plan. The third outcome was the development of an overall master plan for the town of Biwa, which involved close collaboration with the public domain reference group. This group was established to assist the development of the master plan. Community members and council officers worked together to develop their ideas for the master plan. Incredibly thorough and has been very empowering. Pleased to have actually had the opportunity to be part of it as opposed to feeling like a pawn on a chessboard. The people of Biwa are engaged. Especially having been part of the process, I'll feel extra connected to it. I think Council have made a concerted effort to address people's concerns. The whole process, the way that the Council officers have put it together and engaged with the community has just been absolutely fantastic. Sunshine Coast Councils, they've managed to establish a model that I reckon if it's replicated in other communities right throughout the Sunshine Coast, the community engagement and the ownership that communities want over the outcome is going to be fantastic. And ownership is what it's all about.